It's clear there is still work to be done. But as Brooklynites, we're always looking out for each other. Our potential is limitless when we work together. Take six months ago, when Hurricane Sandy struck New York City and the East Coast, at least 75, 76 residents lost their lives in the tri-state area, including several Brooklynites. And tens of billions of dollars in damage was caused to homes and businesses and infrastructure in our Brooklyn waterfront communities. So tonight, let's take a few moments to recognize our special guests. Some of the thousands of volunteers who gave their time, offered comfort, risked their own safety to aid Brooklynites and others affected by Sandy. From Red Hook, Coney Island, Seagate, Mill Basin, Bath Beach, Manhattan Beach, Sheeps at Bay, Dumbo, Gowanus, Canasi, and everywhere in between, these selfless Sandy saviors were lifelines. They provided and delivered food, water, and other essential supplies. Even walked up 20 plus floors in buildings without power. They transported seniors and those with disabilities to medical care. They cleaned debris from damaged homes and businesses and even put residents up in their own homes. Sandy could have gotten the best of us, but as we have shown during times of crises in the past, Brooklynites and New Yorkers stand ready to open their hearts and wallets to help their families, friends, and neighbors. No doubt that in the wake of Sandy, Brooklyn really did live up to its motto, unity make strength proud. Our efforts are not done as we speak. Countless volunteer volunteers remain hard at work making sure no Brooklynite or New Yorker falls through the cracks as we rebound, rebuild, and recover. Now, many of our Sandy volunteers are here tonight. Please stand and let's show them all our appreciation for a job well done. In addition to our many volunteers, every Brooklynite and New Yorker owes a big thank you to our city's uniform services for their unbelievable efforts, sensitivity, sensitivity and responsiveness in the aftermath of the storm. So let's give a special Brooklyn salute to every member of NYPD and FDNY under Brooklyn Native Commissioner Salvador Casano. And greeted by the loudest chairs from impacted residents, was the sanitation department led by Brooklyn's newest resident, you heard me, newest resident, Commissioner John Doherty, who just moved into downtown Brooklyn. What took you so long, John? And he is joined by Brooklyn Sanitation Chiefs Thomas Doyle of Brooklyn North and Myron Priester of Brooklyn South, and good luck, Myron, on your retirement. All the members of our city workforce here tonight, please stand. Let's show them our appreciation for their outstanding service, not just during Sandy, but all year round. Let me also commend the Brooklyn Community Foundation, the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce, Forest City Ratner, the Brooklyn Nets, and countless civic associations that are helping Brooklynites and New Yorkers get back on their feet. 